Hey guys, Joshua with Josh and Hunter's Adventures and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be sharing three simple baits that's going to help beginner fishermen catch a lot more bass. Now all of you have probably walked in a tackle store and you've looked around and it's just so overwhelming. There's so many different baits. I mean there's crank baits, there's jigs, there's soft plastics, there's swim baits. You know you just get overwhelmed on what, what you should actually use as a beginner. So I've got three baits that catch a lot of fish for all fishermen. You can use these all over the country. There's no specific area and they'll catch bass everywhere. So let's break it down. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Okay, so the first bait that we've got here is a bladed jig. A bladed jig is a great, great bait for beginners because it's very, very simple to use. Now this is a Z-Man chatter bait here. Uh, so basically what it is is you've got a jig like with a skirt and a blade on it and I run a trailer on it. This is a Berkeley trailer on the back of it. But basically it's very, very easy. You cast it out and you retrieve it in and it, the blade does all the work. Every now and again if you want you can pop it just a little bit but you don't have to. And this is a great bait for beginners. This catches a lot of really big bass all over the country. A blade of jig is a really, really good bait. So make sure you pick up a few of these. Z-Man makes great, great products, so check those out. Uh, the Chatterbait's a really, really good bait from them. All right, so we've, got, we've talked about the uh, bladed jig here. Okay, so our next bait we're gonna talk about is a Ned Rig, okay? This is a very easy and simple bait to use. It's basically a two and a half to three inch straight tail worm a lot of times. Uh, they do make other baits for it. Uh, it's just like a jig head. You can see here, this one is, I uh, don't have it Texas uh, rigged or anything like that. It's just your standard Ned rig. Um, they make a lot of different colors. Don't get caught up in the colors. Just get you some type of simple green pumpkin. This is a green pumpkin with a little bit of orange on the bottom, mimicking a crawfish. This is what this bait does. It mimics a crawfish on the bottom. Basically, you throw that out there and you work it on the bottom very slowly. Fish a Ned Rig very slow. That's, uh, if I could give anybody any advice on a Ned Rig is, is just fish it slow. You know, pop it along, let it hit the bottom. This bait will stand up. Let it stand up. Let it do its work. And they, they will eat this bait. Ned Rig catches a lot of fish. It's a really, really good bait to catch a lot of numbers. So, we've talked about the bladed jig, the Ned Rig, and I couldn't leave out the Wacky Rig. Wacky Rig is a Cinco style bait or uh, you know any type of Yamamoto or Yum Dinger or anything like that. Rigged with a very small hook right here onto, I run mine on a O-ring right here and we can show you guys exactly how to rig this really quick. That way uh, you beginners will know exactly how to do that. Let's, uh, let's take this O-ring off really quick and we will rig it up for you guys. So I have a O-ring tool right here, okay? You stick your bait into the hole. You take one of your O-rings, you slide it up. And there is the bait. And basically what that does is, is you take the hook and go under the o-ring. I like to catch just a little bit of the bait but what that does is it keeps from tearing the bait up so bad because if you just hooked it straight in to the bait you would tear a lot of baits. But basically how you fish this is is you fish it up, you throw it up around the bank, any type of structure, docks, things like that and you just pop it. So what that does is as you pop it this is what it does in the water and then as it goes down that's what it's doing. That's the motion that it's making. It's making that flutter and then you pop, 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 and it just floats back down. This is a great bait, guys. You catch a lot, a lot of fish on a wacky rig. And it's very easy to fish. All three of these baits doesn't take, you know, a lot of um, experience. You can fish all of them. The blade of jig, you throw it out, you reel it in. The blade does all the work. The Ned rig, you throw it out, you let it hit the bottom, you pop it, let it set. Pop it, let it set. You'll feel the bite, they'll, they'll either tick it, they'll pick it up and take off running with it, or you'll just pick up on it and they're just, they're there. They're, there's weight. This one's the same way. You throw it out there, you pop it, let it sink. You'll feel the bite, they'll hit it, and they'll usually run with it on a wacky rig. But uh, 
it's a really really good bait catches a lot of really big fish uh, a wacky rig is a really really good bait but guys that is my three simple baits for beginner fishermen if you try these three baits you're going to go out and have success on the water whether it's in a pond a lake a river wherever it might be use these baits and it's going to help you catch a lot more bass guys if you enjoyed this video leave me a thumbs up if you got any questions or comments go down in the comment section and leave it down there i'll be glad to answer it the best that i can and remember hit that subscribe button turn on that notification bell that way you know when we put out videos Till next time this is josh with josh and hunters adventures thanks for watching